from the Spirit Cassie channel, and this is Baldi. Hey, are you new to the club? Click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell beside it. See ya! So what's up everyone, welcome to Spirit Kansas channel and today we will be teaching you how to modify your Minecraft game. So we will be showing you how to change your skin, like for example this is Steven Universe skin and to Baldi skin. So we will be needing Tinker. Tinker is an app for kids who want to learn programming but also they provide us features on how to mod Minecraft. So we will not be doing any of this for the meantime. We'll be going directly to the community area. So there are many things to modify here. Let's say for example, blocks, weapons, um, even Elderman or NPC. It is unlimited. You guys can use it for free. And for the meantime, we'll be focusing on how to change your skin because there are so many options here what we'll be doing is we'll be looking for some of the pre-made skins already let's say for example for sonic and maybe for iron man but i want to d demonstrate you how to use baldy skins here so like what i showed you in the earlier video um, we can pick one from here but be careful because some of the skins here are for npc and some are for your character skin so what we need to do is open the, your favorite skin that you want to use and then later on maybe we can modify this one so I'll show you how to modify it like for example maybe we can change the the color of the, the dress or maybe we can put a leather on the front or front, front or back of your shirt like this one So there you go, we're done modifying our baldy skin and it's time to import this on Minecraft. So, so what we need to do is go to your profile menu and then put our new downloaded or modified skin and that's pretty much it. The skin will be saved on your photos, uh, photo roll or camera roll and then there you go, you can see the S and K and that's it just save your profile and then there you go you have your new skin and the process is pretty much easy the only thing you need to be aware of is that make sure that you give tinker the proper permission for for for, for you to save the skin or else 
it will not save on your camera roll. And if you if you didn't save it in your camera roll, you won't see your modified skin. So that's pretty much it. And then there are really many things that you can modify. Like right now, you're seeing this uh, block. This is also came from Tinker, and you can also copy and import this to your global resource. So it is actually a limited resource that you can play around. So in just a matter of a seconds, we'll be showing you as well how to enable global resources. This uh, process is different from using your own skin, but this one is like enabling it on your settings and then go to your um, global resource pack uh, menu. And then that's pretty much it. You can toggle everything in there. So make sure that once you upload it uh, our global resource, make sure you you reset your minecraft or else you won't able to see it so we are done so please don't forget to click the subscribe and the like button and leave a comment see you thank you so much guys for watching i hope you like it this is queen kenzie again saying click subscribe and 